Hello. Today we will be reviewing the Pipeline Coverage Calculator, a helpful free tool designed to assist in estimating material costs when coding a pipeline. The tool is comprised of six different calculators, all specializing in different materials. Today we will review how to use the tape calculator. You can find a link to the calculator in the video description. Alternatively, you may request access to the Pipeline Coding's technical library. The calculator is available for download, along with dozens of helpful documents and resources. The Pipeline Coverage Calculator is an Excel file, organized in six distinct sections based on application type. The section for tape coatings is at the very top. For now, we will ignore all other fields. You may notice several rows already have information in them. The calculator is programmed to automatically calculate results based on values entered in the yellow cells. This includes pipe outer diameter in inches, pipe length in feet, tape width in inches, tape length in feet, and the overlap width in inches. Let's run through an example of how to get a proper estimate. For this example, we'll be using H35 tape on 30 feet of 12 inch diameter pipe. The tape product itself only matters insofar as it comes in standardized lengths and widths. For instance, a roll of H35 comes in 2 inch, 4 inch, and 6 inch variants. All are 75 feet in length. For this example, we will choose a 4 inch wide roll. Our first field is row 2, pipe outer diameter in inches. We will enter 12 in the yellow field. For length, we enter 30 feet, the length of the pipe. Area will then calculate in row 4. Our tape width in this example is 4 inches. Roll of H35 is 75 feet in length. We will enter these values in rows 5 and 6 respectively. Row 7, tape area SQ, will populate based on our entries. 1 SQ represents 100 square feet. This is borrowed from a common unit of measurement in roofing materials. It helps in the calculation, but ultimately is not necessary in determining the number of rolls needed for a job. For row 8, enter the number of inches you intend to overlap when wrapping tape. It is recommended to have a 50% overlap on existing tape, so we will enter 2, half of 4, in the yellow cell. The waste factor is auto-calculated at 15%. We recommend leaving it at this value to fairly estimate any imperfections or errors in application. However, you are welcome to adjust this number to your personal estimates. This is all the information required for the calculator. Again, that's tape width and length, outer diameter and length of the pipe, overlap width, and waste factor. The final three rows will auto-populate with results. You will see the required square feet of tape, the SQ, one hundredth of the previous value, and the total rolls of tape needed to complete this job. With that number, you have a proper estimate for total rolls needed for your application. If you have any questions at all using the Pipeline Coverage Calculator, please reach out. We would be happy to assist in any way possible. Thank you for listening to this guide. For more information on construction materials and protective coatings, as well as some helpful tips and best practices, check out our blog or subscribe to our mailing list for the latest news and updates.